Across the world, over 50 million people suffer from a medical condition that is too often misunderstood. Some people believe that it is contagious, or that those who have it are mad and should be hidden away, or even that they are possessed by evil spirits. But epilepsy is none of these things. So what is epilepsy? Epilepsy is a chronic disorder of the brain characterized by recurrent seizures. These are brief disturbances in the electrical functions of the brain. Certain types of epilepsy are caused by head injuries, complications at birth, or infections from parasites, none of which is contagious. In many cases, we don't know what causes epilepsy. People with epilepsy can sustain injuries during seizures. They often struggle with anxiety and depression. Because of the stigma they face, it can be difficult for them to live a full and normal life. The burden of epilepsy is higher in low- and middle-income countries, where 80% of people with epilepsy live. But what if we told you there is a solution? That 70% of people with epilepsy can be seizure-free with adequate treatment? And that this treatment costs as little as 5 US dollars per year? That's right, 5 US dollars per year. But here's the bad news. Seven out of 10 people with epilepsy worldwide do not receive treatment. This is what we call the epilepsy treatment gap. Why is this when such a low cost solution exists? In most resource poor settings, anti-epileptic medicines are often not available. Even if they are, very few healthcare providers have the training to recognize, diagnose and treat epilepsy. The World Health Organization has long recognized that epilepsy is a major public health concern. Along with its partners, WHO is supporting countries to reduce the epilepsy treatment gap. The goal of the WHO program on reducing the epilepsy treatment gap is to support all countries and territories to improve epilepsy care by reducing stigma and improving access to treatment. For example, Many measures can be taken by policymakers to increase access to treatment and protect the human rights of people with epilepsy. But everyone has a role to play. Non-governmental organisations, healthcare providers, people with epilepsy and their families can contribute to this effort. Epilepsy can be treated. Epilepsy can be defeated.